Good morning folks, this is a brief ROM overview of the CM10.1 base Temasek ROM version 72. Okay, this is just a brief description of this developer. The base 10.1 CM10.1 release, he keeps updating it all the time. Uh, it's a pretty stable ROM, your phone becomes like a Galaxy Nexus. It's version 4.2.2, that is the latest version. And this is version 72. Uh, I'll show you the brief how it works, how it appears. Yep, as you know, this is my Galaxy S3. As you can see, the lock screen, uh, you can swipe to the left. You get this widgets option. This comes as built in Ivan install anything, calculator, calendar. The clock widget has been renamed as C small capital L. Digital clock, email, Gmail, messaging, torch. Uh, this one I just installed for it. For you can go to the app directly. Looks very nice. The fonts look very nice on the screen. Sick. And to delete, it, just press and hold and go to the remove button. Okay, and you swipe to the right, you go to the camera. Uh, you get the standard uh, 4.2 camera without the photosphere. But you get an option extra on this. HDR mode and then you can pull to the right for going to the gallery and to switch between camera you can go like this video camera or you can change over here please and standard nothing great in this okay this is the standard home screen this is actually not purely based on Android 4.2 this is a launcher it's a different sort of launcher as you can see the animation Two finger swipe, you know, one finger swipe, you go to the notification. Two finger swipe, you go to the uh, toggle screen. Go to click on the settings. Uh, it looks the same over here. You get an extra option of the super user. You click on about phone. It was Android 4.2.2, latest version of Jelly Bean. And it's launched on March 7th, version 72, just today morning. Changes just about it. This is the launch. Uh, you can change this is a I don't know tray bucket launcher you can change the way transition effects of the screen render second you can see it's now changed it looks like a cylinder uh, it comes standard with these apps one is the Apollo music app normal browser calculator calendar camera clock DSP manager file manager gallery Gmail, Gmail settings, this is new. You can add with your Google, uh, sign with your Google Plus and you can <coughs> modify your Google from this location. The phone, the stock trailer, here you go to the contacts. And then people's Play Store settings, that's just about it. In this mode, you can modify the lock screen, you can put a swipe pass, or you can change your background, you can maximize the widgets, you can change your themes, you can download the themes and change this. Go to system, you can uh, do all the changes over here. <clears throat> you go to the messaging column, you click over here, you get a 104.2.2 keyboard. Oops. Here you go. Happening once again. Um, display you can uh, modify this over here. Um, sound you can change, you can put uh, you can remove the sound from here. A few things, uh, the few things from something that I miss is the blocking mode. Uh, the camera of Samsung is much better. Like I said, Android 4.2.2, it is the latest version. Uh, okay, uh, you go to the Play Store. One difference which is between this and 4.2.1, I can show you. I'll just download an app. Apps. I'll just install one app. Um, like notification. Wow. You hit this. And when it downloads, it'll show you the time, estimated time, like how long it takes. Oh, that was too fast. Um, let me see. Yeah. 
you can see dashboard clock music not as extension any choices and minutes left time left while you are downloading this went too fast so I'll just show you one more accept and download you can see dashboard 2 hours left 0 seconds left that's one thing new just about it if you want the latest and greatest from this is the best uh, without all the uh, what is it? It's a pure ROM. It'll convert your phone into a Galaxy Nexus. It's just about it. Bye bye.